Hello devs, Sid the IT guy here and this is a video about filament PHP. So let's go over the installation part and here's how I, I, here's how I have installed it. So first of all I created a fresh Laravel project using this command and notice how I kept it 9.0 and upwards. So it created the version 9 point upwards, 9.0 upwards which is the requirement for filament PHP. After that, I required the Livewire uh, package because the filament PHP package is based on Laravel Livewire. After that, I published the config, then the assets. And after that, I required the filament package, which is version 2.0, which if you take a look at their, if you take a look at their documentation, then in the installation page, they do they do tell you that they you have to have php 8.0 laravel 8.0 plus and laravel version 2.0 plus and after that you have to run filament php filament uh, 2.0 and if you take a look at this so in php you can see that i am running php 8.1 so in laravel it is pretty easy to install a new version of php you can find it out from google and you have to just download the package import the package inside the root folder for uh, PHP so inside bin you can find it here and just paste it here and Laragon will automatically detect it so that's how and then you restart Laragon and that's it so let me log out here so when you hit admin slash login then this is the page that comes up so here I can enter the user credentials which I have like this admin at admin.com and password is one two three four five six seven eight so one two three four five six seven eight remember me sign in so this is the first page that we get to see so let's build a basic CRUD module and let's see how we can build that so after that what I did was uh, I ran this command filament user to create the first login and uh, if you check the version then it is 9.38 after that i made a model of customer with the migration and the migration is uh, defined like this pretty simple migration uh, nothing fancy here just the name email address address to and status which is default true and that's it so now let's uh, in the first few steps we can see in resources so creating a resource we can use this press copy and paste I'm sorry yeah customer resource is created so now I can go to here and if I refresh then I will see this customers sidebar menu come up so then I can then I can click customers and it says customers doesn't exist migrate yeah so after that I, if I refresh now the customers table is here so let's refresh and here it is it says no records found there is a checkbox checkbox here and a new customer here so if I click it then here I have create another and cancel so now let us we can see this page right here and if we take a look at the code then inside app filament resources here we have the customer resource.php so navigation icon we can change it here uh, it says hero icon or collection we can change that later i think so here are the form elements so here we can specify which form elements do we want and in the table we can specify what columns we need here so and get relations is here and get pages is here and to create a new one we have to create the route create and record slash edit for the edit one okay and the model is attached here which is customer class so let's see in the form one what we want to put so go to the documentation and uh, and in the action Let's try to put this edit right here and uh, 
deactivate so what i'm thinking here is for the deactivate button if we click it then uh, the customer will be marked deactive uh, inactive in the database uh, function so this would be customer record record arrow deactivate so i think in customer model i need to mm, i think i can do this so record update status false yeah requires color danger and let's comment it out mm -hmm. yeah so for the form what we can do here name required to the let's say email I don't think so. Required after that, we can do press one. to oh here we go so here we have the name email address one and address two just how we defined here so navigation I can hero icon okay let me where we have the name the email the address edit and deactivate button so inside the customer resource we can see that i yeah so for the new customer yeah so name email address one and address two are there so using the form elements i created these four here and uh, hero icon s cog makes this look like a wrench icon and then create and create another are handled in the customer resource itself you we don't have to write any code here and uh, in create customer so for the notification title and for the notification we can do a customer registered and the customer has been created successfully so if we do customer2 and then email customer at gmail.com address1 address2 and if we just hit create then here we have the notification come up so this is how we can do this notification I don't think we need this anymore so here we have so the logic to insert the record in the database is handled automatically by the customer resource itself so it has the model customer class here so that is how this can be done now if we click here then here we have these two so let's see if uh, clicking deactivate does anything so for that I will show you this that inside the table uh, we can do the listing here so name email address on address to are here so this is how this is populated and it will take care of uh, populating the columns by itself and in the actions here we have the edit action and uh, here we have our custom action which is deactivate and inside this we can uh, we can just do customer record it will be updated to status false and it requires a confirmation and the color is danger so that is why it is coming up like this so let's click and are you sure you would like to do this confirm yeah I think it's done so let me just uh, also put let's see status so if I refresh yeah so now the status is one so if I click deactivate here 
then confirm and hit refresh okay so this is the closest i got so inside the id you can have the change status button so inside that what i did is in the actions tab i just put this uh, change status action here and inside that record update status would be not of record status so anytime it will be one then it will be zero and then we can see here yeah so if i change it again it goes one change it again goes zero so if i click edit then it goes to customers to edit and let's see if i just admin 2 and hit save then it says saved and if i go to customers then here we have admin 2 okay so this seems pretty simple so if i click new and if i cancel it it goes back okay so this is a good example of a crud operation right so in the next video let me know if you want if you want me to see if you want me to cover any other new topics inside filament php it is quite complicated and in some of the places they have mentioned that it is an ongoing process so as we go along with filament php the package will improve and we will have simpler code and more customizations in it Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you.